Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for what is it, the 10th, 9th, whatever. The timing is fluid. You know, the timing is fluid, right? Um, yeah, timing is fluid. I know it's a very emotional time. I don't know about you, but emotions are all over the place. They are. They are all over the place. So I feel like there, a lot of, there's a lot of tears. There's a lot of crying. There's a lot of releasing. There's a lot of feelings on the surface. There's some sort of, there's anger. There's agitation. But more so, there's, 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 there's tears. Okay. And remembrance. Remembrance. I just did a, I just did a live from my other channel. And if you want to see me cry, I'm, I, I choke it back a couple times, but you do get to see it. Feel free to go click it. Okay, there's a link over to the side. Um, yeah, but anyway, I do, uh, you might get to, you do get to see me uh, struggle with the tears um, on camera. You get to see Jennifer on camera. Uh, emotional. It's towards the end, but uh, I think you should watch it. Anyhow, you don't have to. It's up to you. I don't even know why I said that. Okay, stop. All right, let's get into this reading. What do we have? What do we have for around the next couple of days? It's very emotional, obviously, because I had to tell you this. I had to tell you. It's very, very... I had to tell you. You know, I had to tell you. Remember, everything that I say during a reading is for you. I had to tell you something about, I had to, ta I had to tell you. So somebody may be saying those words, whatever is happening, it's definitely emotional, heartfelt. There could be some tears. And if you want to see me cry, feel free to go take a look. Anyhow, um, although I do choke it back. But what do we got? And somebody might be trying to choke back their tears. You know, um, what do we got? What do we got? Some sort of news is going to be arriving. I see the Eight of Wands. So, yes, yeah, so there's going to be messaging or talking or information coming in. The High Priestess. I have a tarot card reader here. The High Priestess is very intuitive, very reflective. The High Priestess uh, has some sort of information or she knows something. She's This is an intuitive right here. Um very spiritual. So we have a very spiritual individual here who uh, oh she's smiling. She knows. She knows something. She does know something. She may be keeping something to herself though. She doesn't reveal all. Not yet. Not yet. Okay, we'll get revealed in time. So she's got something. She knows something and she's keeping it. She's keeping it to herself. But it looks like she's got a lot of power. She does got a lot of power, this person does. she got a smile on her face. She knows that she knows. She's gotten something. She sees something. Hmm. <laughs> It's all about the intuition here. Your intuition is telling you something. So for the, your intuition is telling you something. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Okay. The Queen of Swords. Now the Queen of Swords is very intellectual. A quick thinker. A very quick thinker. She can be a little brash. Looks like somebody's taking her by the hand. She is being taken by the hand. She's a little weary though. She's a little weary. She's a little bit... Uh, She's ready to, uh, you know, she put her sword down. She, she's opening herself up. She's thinking, look at the look on her face. She's like, uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess so. So, hmm. She's clinging on to that sword, though. She is. She hasn't let it go. She's still holding on to it. She's holding on to, she has some sort of information. She does. This woman has some sort of information. It may be the truth. She knows the truth. So we have, and I feel like it is a woman. Okay. Could be a masculine, but I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think it's a woman. I think that we have a, a feminine that knows the truth. She has some sort of information. Somebody is, is, is coming. Somebody's taking her by the hand though, escorting her or something like that. She's allowing it by the looks of things. Hmm. 
She's looking at somebody. Eight of Wands reversed. So that's not communicating. That's blocking. Feeling guilty. Stuck. Stagnant. Somebody is going to be taking her somewhere. Because somebody's taking her hand. There's a lack of communication here. There's there's no communication here. This one knows something. She has the answers. Now somebody could be telling this woman, don't communicate, don't chase, don't make any moves. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. Okay? And it could be that it could be me. That we have we have somebody here that's saying, Don't do anything. Somebody is coming. Somebody is coming. Six of Swords coming to the rescue. Somebody is coming to the rescue. They are. Six of Swords is going to a better place. And like I said, somebody is going to a better place. They're being... Uh, oh, this is a new adventure. We have an arrival of some sort. Somebody is about to arrive. Hmm. Oh, somebody that... May, this person may be at a distance. They may be at a distance. But they're coming. They're coming to the location. They aren't there yet. They aren't here yet. There could be a distance with that world and the Six of Swords. They're almost here. They're almost here. They've almost re... They've almost... Um, cannot speak because it's Mercury retrograde. Whew. They've almost reached their destination. This is somebody that um, travels a lot. So we have a traveler here. Um, here he comes. Here they come. Here they come. And it could be a feminine that is coming because you guys, this somebody is being, they're traveling to a new destination. They're traveling to this location. You may have been told by another reader or by a, somebody, a medium or a psychic or somebody, or maybe even your own intuition that this person was coming. Yes, they are coming. There has been a delay. There has been some sort of delay. But the world card upright is it's travel. It is travel. There's some sort of travel here. It's the end of a cycle as well. This is something completing and beginning a new journey. That old, that old chapter, that old phase of your life of being alone. She's been waiting. So we do have somebody that has been waiting. That's just about over. The waiting is just about over. The delay is just about over. Okay? The delay is just about over here. Traveling to this destination. We, this is, there's definitely some travel here. There's traveling. We have a new beginning. Okay? We definitely have a new beginning with that world card. Um... Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius could be anybody. This is somebody who is alone. This is a the Queen of Swords is typically an independent person. Not always. She does. She can be taken. She can be rescued. She can be persuaded. She can be, but not easily. Okay, she's not per easily persuaded. She's very smart. She's very intelligent. She's very intuitive. She is very, very intuitive. So I think that we, we have somebody that is, is coming to the rescue, this person, or they're making an entrance of some sort. This person is, is, I feel like this person is from a different location. It doesn't have to be. There's some kind of distance here by the looks of things. The tower. Well, the tower. The tower is sudden. Something all of a sudden. This is a, this is a life change. This is a shock. This is, and with the world, these are both universe cards. So this is a universe card, this is a universe card. So the universe is bringing in some sort of profound change. Okay, it is a big one. It is a big, 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 big change. It's probably going to shake up your foundation. It's definitely going to shake up your life. Okay? There's been a delay, but here it comes. Yes, it's, here it comes. Here it comes. Get prepared. To start a new chapter. To start over, basically. It's, there is a new start here. There is. To start on a new... This is like a new life. A whole new you. It's like the old, the old foundation. The old, the old structure. The old you is no more. 
there's some sort of lesson that has been learned and it had to it has to do with uh following your intuition or something like that but there's a lesson that has been learned you've learned some sort of lesson and maybe it's it's through loneliness you know typically you learn through through loneliness through through hermit mode we don't have the hermit but the queen of swords tends to be independent because she has been hurt she has been hurt very very badly and she doesn't trust that's a sort of truth in her hand you know she doesn't trust she doesn't trust because she's been hurt by somebody and she may have been seeking out tarot readers or psychics or mediums for the answers and these this person's been saying this person is coming they're coming they're coming they're coming here they are here they come here they come this may happen after some sort of upheaval or destruction in your life something could happen that causes this person to travel to your destination and and it could be in your surroundings you know what i mean so it's like there's something that happens that is um it's a it's a it's a life-changing event okay we have a life-changing event that is bringing this person to the location okay so hmm. judgment wow wow now this is a wake-up call this is an epiphany something is about to be revealed this is karma a spiritual awakening this is also somebody from the other side somebody from the other side um, this is life-changing as well so this is a life-changing decision and this is this is a life-changing event and this could be a past life connection with the judgment card that's like a that, there could be some sort of reconciliation with somebody that, that you have known in a past life because this is I'm telling you what for some of you there could be some sort of reconciliation with somebody you have known before. Maybe you you uh, needed to learn some sort of lessons in this lifetime before they could bring you together with this. There's depth with this person. Okay? So I think that uh, from chaos or from upheaval, there is some sort of arrival you know somebody is arriving um this is a major new beginning a phase of your life has ended you have learned some sort of lesson judgment is a card of of absolution it's an ending and this is an ending as well so we have an ending an ending of of a phase okay this is acceptance it is acceptance it's uh forgiveness hmm. Somebody may be asking for forgiveness. Somebody is, uh, there's some sort of, of reconciliation. There's a reconciliation here of some sort with somebody that you have known before. And when I say reconciliation, I don't want all of you to think of that asshole in the past. This person is not that asshole. This person is somebody that is true. Somebody that um, this is this is somebody that has six of swords. This is somebody that um, is coming to the rescue. Okay, they're coming to help you get to a better place. This is not the one that. Um, well, maybe they blocked you. There's been some sort of delay. There's blocking. There's jealousy of some sort up there. Somebody may have been blocked. They may have been blocked. But but there's some sort of disaster here. This is an awakening. Somebody is getting an awakening. They're going through some sort of awakening. And they're about to reveal their, the truth about something. Are you ready to be judged as well? This is judged. Being judged. Somebody may be being judged, you know, think about judgment day. That's, that's when you, you know, you go up and you, you ask for forgiveness and you're ready to be judged. You're ready to tell the truth. You have no choice but to tell the truth. Whoops. Look at that. And maybe there's been some sort of mistake. Hmm. Maybe somebody has made a mistake. Somebody has been thinking. 
thinking about investing, thinking about what they should do. Should, should I, is this, is this where it's supposed to be? Should I go someplace else? Should, uh, we keep this here? Um, it looks like somebody is wanting more enlightenment or they've been enlightened. They're looking for something more, um, it's like more light. We need some more light. I feel like this has to do with light in particular in this card. This is overgrown. Uh, we get, we need to, uh, take this down. We have somebody here that is, is planning to relocate. They're planning to relocate. They're planning to relocate. They are. We have somebody here that is probably living in a place that is not stable. It's not secure. It's uh, falling apart. And they're planning to relocate. So I think we have somebody that here that is relocating. They're relocating to, to some place where, you know, they can see some sort of growth. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords is an ending. It's painful. There's a painful ending that has taught somebody a lesson. We have all these tens, by the way. Completion, completion, completion. A cycle, a phase of somebody's life is coming to an end. We have somebody here that has is has like hit rock bottom. They have. But now it's like they're rising. They're rising back up again. That judgment is about rising. Okay, accepting, cutting losses, ending that cycle, moving forward into something more stable. I feel like we have, uh, we definitely have a new beginning here with that world card. And this is, there's been some sort of distance or there's been some sort of delay. And distance can be in a, uh, what is it, psychological sense per se. You know, distance doesn't have to be physical distance it can be distance with communication and the high priestess can be very distant so in this person so there's some sort of distance here whether it's a physical distance or there's or it's a uh, distance between people in a emotional sense okay but this is the end it's the end of suffering it is it's the end of a painful situation you have survived it, it's time to live again so i think we have a new life here Something is about to happen, and it's going to be sudden. There's going to be a sudden change, a, a, a sudden change in, in life, in your life. This is a sudden life change. It happens uh, it, it, very suddenly. Somebody has been thinking about it, though, and they just decide. Maybe it's spur of the moment. I don't have the fool, but this is like they've been thinking about it. They've been planning on it because it's not stable here. Maybe there's not enough light there, or there's just there's darkness there, or they just don't want to. There's too much uh, upheaval, too much chaos. They've been thinking about relocating. And this is the decision. Judgment is the final decision. So it is. If you think about judgment, if you're at court, this is the judgment. It's judgment day. And it's when you make this. It is. So there's a decision that is about to be made. So the decision is about to be made to uh, step over that finish line and start this new journey. So somebody is literally about to start a new chapter of their life. And they're about to be um I think it's starting with a clean slate. They're about to rebuild or to build a new foundation. The last one ended very painfully. It did just about killed them. But now this is like I'm ready. I'm ready to go to that better place. So I think that uh, this is a wake up call of some sort. Somebody's about to wake up. It's like they've been. They've been in a state of limbo, right? Right? If you right before, I mean, they've been in a state of limbo. They've been in a period of uh, n probably not wanting to communicate, not wanting to move forward. Maybe they needed to heal because they were in a disastrous situation in the past. Disastrous past, right? So they were in that situation. They've been thinking about th thinking, 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 thinking. Now it's time. It's time. It is time. Wheel of Fortune on the bottom. It is time. This is destiny, karma, a cycle. Something positive is coming. Positive change is coming. Somebody is going to find themselves at the right place at the right time. 
and they're going to meet somebody that they are karmically connected to okay so that's what i see this is and this is destiny it's meant to be this whatever is happening is meant to be this is good positive uh change this is good luck this is a new cycle one cycle is ending and a new cycle is beginning okay so we have a, a major new beginning here and it is a big one it is a big one something is about to change and it's going to be i think it's going to be a shock that's why that tower is here it's going to be a shock you may have been waiting you may have been waiting for this and somebody has been somebody has been waiting they've been waiting for this person to arrive well here they come i think that you could you are going to find yourself at the right place at the same at the right time you know it's like a it's like a serendipity type of, type of thing, you know, a fortunate accident, that kind of thing. It's like, um, and I feel like this person, if you are single, travels, there's, there's traveling involved here. Um, and they've been wanting to relocate. Um, so yeah get prepared for life to change in a very positive way consider that old phase of your life that old chapter that lesson that you needed to learn uh completed Con consider it a success now if you think about the world that's victory after sorrow it is it's victory after sorrow and it's leaving the past behind and starting anew we do have some and i think there is some sort of uh, reconciliation with somebody that you have known you've known this person from before you're gonna feel very familiar with this person whoever this person is it's like when you see them you you yeah you'd like to protect yourself you'd like to say no but you can't because there's just something about them there's just something about them that says you know i just i just i trust you Get prepared for uh, something really good to show up, and I don't I don't say that very often. So I hope this reading is for you. If you want to see Jennifer's emotions, uh, feel free to go over to Empress TV. Good luck.